New to Grounded or not caught up with some of the changes on how to get the most advanced crafting materials, then this little guy's gonna show you how. I'm also gonna show you how to get ash buildings and show you the stump lavatory. It's one of the most difficult parkour challenges you'll face in Grounded, so make sure you bring plenty of toughs. Leave a like, make sure you subscribe for the best in Grounded content, and let's go. So I'm just running through the stump lab just to show you guys where it is and what to expect. Obviously not doing it with a full blown survival character, just for the cryards out there. Anyhow, when you get to the stump, it's filled with dangerous creatures. Obviously, you've got a ton of wolf spiders, ticks and more. You'll notice this piece of laboratory sticking out the ground and this doorway will be locked unless you've done the following. You need the assistant manager key from defeat in the assistant manager in the Black Ant Hill. Then you need to come over to this little laboratory underneath the oak tree. It's been shut for longest of time, but you can see now you can open it up. This is also where you get one of Sarah's elf's charm inside that box. And make sure you press the button and you can see on the CCTV, it actually shows the laboratory in the stump, obviously from the viewpoint from inside the lab. Once you press the button, you can see the stump pieces sticking out. So that's how you open it. You won't be able to get in here until you've done all of that. Then bring a tuft to drop down, or you can land on the sides like this if you really haven't brought one with you. You don't absolutely need a tuft, but I would recommend it for sure. When you're at the bottom, you are in a sideways, upside down lab outpost. So you're gonna to have to climb and parkour across. You'll notice you can't really get up directly. So you're gonna to have to go right across to the right hand side or forward. And there's this doorway here that you won't be able to get into until you press the button. This is where you get the stump chip. So you need to jump across the area like this and then hopefully try and get to the right hand side all the way in front of you. And you should notice also the mantis kebab recipe that's on the floor. I totally missed this the first time I came in here and I'd spent about another three hours looking for the Mantis recipe for the kebab. So make sure you pick it up next to this cabinet. So I don't think you can actually get out the way that you came. You still got to get the chip obviously. And now we've got to jump across to these cabinets and it's pretty tough as you saw. On top of this bit of wood and then you'll get the 500 raw signs. Now we need to jump on top of this cabinet here, then turn around and we're going to be aiming for this bit of dirt here. Next, you want to see if you can get on this tiny little bit of lip here, which is a green tile sticking out. And then you can go ahead and jump on this route and then onto the next route and then we're onto the next stage. You'll find a milk molas, grab that. And then you can see we've got a drop down. Make sure you get the 100 raw science and yeah, just fall down pretty much. You can obviously see if you can jump land on these consoles, but as you saw, I fell down as well. In the bottom, there is a pool of water and it is pretty tough to get up from this. You need to climb the actual route. But when you do, you'll be closer to the console and you can now activate the doorway. Sticking on that same route, try and jump on top of that console, although it can be a bit tough. Honestly, this took me about 15 minutes to get through and then you wanna to aim to get on this side so you can get the 100 raw science. If you've fallen down at any stage, I'm gonna show you one more time. Jump on this route from the first route, then on this console, then you've got to quickly hop onto this little one here. It is really tough, just make sure you can see properly. Then you'll be looking to get onto this dirt pile and then you should be able to jump onto the next dirt pile opposite here. And then you can go ahead and jump on the next route and back into the area that you first was. You can go ahead and just drop down and the door will now be open. Go inside and obviously make sure you get all the loot from the chest and the new chip. For me, the box was filled with bug parts, including some moth fuzz. Make sure you go ahead and get the upgrade materials that are here as well next to the box. And then on the side of the wall, you should notice a little alcove that you can jump in, get 500 raw science, and now you can climb up, getting all the upgrade materials on the way. This will lead to a small little hole right next to the laboratory entrance where you came in. It can be a bit finicky getting up as you're mostly climbing dirt piles, but you should have the upgrade rocks to guide you. You can go down that hole to get the upgrade material straight away if you maybe have come exploring here but haven't opened the laboratory door. But there we go, that's how you get the ash walls, the next upgrade sets, as well as the mantis kebab. This will allow you to create and craft advanced smithing mighty jewels, advanced smithing flavor jewels, advanced smithing sturdy upgrades, the advanced building ash cement, and the brand new sign set girthscape. Now you'll be able to go ahead and upgrade your weapons and armors to level eight and nine, and also apply more of the top tier flavor jewels to your weapons. You'll also be now able to upgrade or craft your very own sturdy upgrade materials out of bug parts and sap. And this is what's confusing people. 
you get some chips from certain locations that allow you to upgrade to level six or seven, but you can't actually make the sturdy whetstone pieces that you need until you've gone and got this chip from the stump lab. So sure, if you found loads of the rocks around the map, you probably can upgrade quite a bit, but eventually you're gonna run out as they don't respawn. So you need to come to the stump to go ahead and make your own sturdy stuff. And although you get the recipe for getting the advanced smithing flavored jewels and mighty jewels here, you can't actually make the actual supreme whetstone or supreme plates until you've gone defeated the boss inside Mordok Castle. When you defeat him, then you'll be able to go ahead and craft your own materials, the supreme whetstone and supreme plates to go ahead and make your own tier three upgrades rather than relying on finding the tier three rocks. Not gonna lie, it's kind of super confusing, especially for brand new players, and even older players have been scratching their head exactly how it worked, as it used to be a lot simpler that you would simply find one unlock and it'd give you all of them upgrades that you could go ahead and craft or make. And it does mean that if you want unlimited supply of tier three upgrades for your weapons and armors using bug parts, you won't be able to get it until you've completed one of the end game bosses that you can't even access until you've done pretty much everything else in the game. I'm hoping the devs maybe tweak it a bit in future and add it a little bit earlier, but that's the situation as it is right now. The Ash recipe walls will be stronger than the other walls, but obviously they're more expensive to make. But there you go, that's the full guide to the Stump Lab, how to unlock the more advanced materials so that you can craft and upgrade your armor weapons and to get the kebab to summon the Mantis. FYI, you still need five chunks from the Broodmother to go ahead and face off against, as that's one of its main ingredients. I am going to have another video giving a breakdown completely of upgrading and all of the chip unlocks, so look out for that in the future. Hope this has helped, and I'll see you right back soon.